How about now? Check one, two. I didn't turn on my other pack. <clears throat> Yay, hello, all right. Can you hear me now? Yes, you can now, good. Awesome, awesome, welcome guys. Merry Christmas, the day after Christmas. <clears throat> I'm doing a live feed. I had a wonderful time yesterday. We were here and, um, hi mom. Raw, what's up brother? <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know if I've got internet here. Uh, and my mother-in-law's here too. Yay! I had an amazing time yesterday. Uh, we stayed here at home and had my wife and kid. And then my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law, Andrew the Bearded Giant, <clears throat> was here. When this sounds... <laughs> well, uh, and we had an awesome, awesome time. Uh, in my... In my description here, I say it's Christmas haul, and I'm hoping that um, <clears throat> I was a good boy all year and that I'd be getting some really cool stuff, and I did. I scored not as well as my son. Alex scored big time. It was, um, it was really cool. I'm going to fix this here a little. Andrew and I wanted to do kind of a collab uh, video before he left, and we just kind of ran out of time. <clears throat> but uh, what I did get from Andrew, I'm going to start off with this. Thank you. Is I got his first welder that he got from Harbor Freight, the Chicago Flux Welder. He handed it down to me. So I am now. <clears throat> going to put out a few first time welding videos and see what I can do. Um, I'm going to play around with some rebar at first just to kind of see the only metal I have right now and get a feel of the welder and stuff. <clears throat> uh, so did you guys have a good Christmas? After we opened presents, Andrew took Alex to go see the new Spider-Man movie, and apparently he, here is Spider-Man for Andrew, and, and this is like Thor, and what was the other one that you liked? Like you said, it was so close to being the best uh, superhero movie that he saw. So then, after we had a ham and cheesy garlic mashed potatoes, and some roasted sweet sweet potato and yams for dinner, we went and saw the new Aquaman movie. So Andrew saw two um, superhero movies in one day. And I don't think uh, Aquaman was as good as Spider-Man, he was saying. <clears throat> oh, Spider-Man and Thor Ragnar Ragnarok tied. And Black, Black Panther came in second. Yeah, those are all three, I'm sure, really good movies. I've seen two of them, and, and I really liked Thor. I put Thor right above uh, Black Panther, too. But I didn't want to take away the uncle and nephew uh, movie day, so uh, I foregoed on, forewent on Spider-Man, and I will catch it when it comes out on DVD. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, Sam heard Aquaman was a little watered down for some viewers. Was that supposed to be funny? Because it was funny. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Uh, I wish the sound was up a little more in the theater. I loved to, it to rumble and it to be a little loud. And it always helps to have some good looking muscular guy be the hero. And uh, Jason Momoa, I thought, did an amazing job on Aquaman. And I don't really know too much about Aquaman. I remember when I was a kid, I'd see him uh, in the cartoons. Um, but I don't know how big of a superhero he is compared to, you know, Superman and Batman. And I know they're different superheroes, but 
you know, they're, they're, they're the same as growing up. We didn't do the whole uh, DC comics or, um, uh, well, you know, the X-Men and stuff. Why can't I think of it? Um, but it was, it, it was pretty good. It was, it, was, it was pretty good. It felt like somebody must have said something because halfway during the movie, the sound got up a little more and I got a little more of that bass and a little more rumble. And it was really good. I liked the storyline. I thought they did a really great job <clears throat> with the uh, computer graphics. It was really cool. <clears throat> and um, yeah, it is all about that bass. <laughs> Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble, right? Sorry, <laughs> but it, it was it was awesome. So then we got back, kind of late because we did the seven ten movie, and we got back after nine, and it was about time to go to bed since we got up. I got up at five that morning, went back to bed, tried to stay up late, and Alex got up at six, and we were opening gifts a little after six o'clock in the morning, and we were all tired and ready for bed. <laughs> So, um, anyways, I hope you guys had a, as good of a Christmas as I did. It was pretty awesome. Um, Andrew and I worked. Uh, he brought this piece of, it was close to three and a half foot by four foot piece of galvanized metal. Maybe, I don't know what gauge it is. A little smaller than an eighth of an inch. I don't know what gauge wise it is. But he brought that down so I could put on my tabletop. Um, so I could have a metal surface when I do my welding videos. <laughs> he and I uh, tried to bend the edges so it would go over the edge of my workstation. And it was having no, we were having no luck at all bending it. We tried uh, scoring it and, and taking a sledgehammer. We um, ended up clamping it down and, and Andrew tried putting his brute force into it and it just wasn't going. I broke two metal cutting wheels trying to score a line across it so we can bend it. So Andrew needed to leave so he left but I finished making a little video of it and Andrew all I did was flushed up one end and I clamped it down and I ended up just cutting it off. So it just sits on top of my workbench now but it did work out so I'm ready to start using this uh, welder. But can I just use the welder by itself? No. What do you need? You need some Christmas presents. So my wife, my wife got me this uh, for Christmas. Pretty awesome. So I've got that. But can you just weld with a welding helmet? No. So my mother-in-law got me these. Huh? Oh. Look how brand new. Oh, and they feel really good too. And then I also got from the wife few of these too. The magnets, the right angle magnet, three angle magnets apparently. It's uh, 45 and 80 and 135 degrees on these guys. So uh, you can make your good 90 degree angle welds and stuff. So excited about that. Also got some tips for uh, the welding gun here. Because they, they get uh, mucked up and, and clogged and stuff. And you have to change out the tips every now and again. So you can have a good wire feed. So I'm really excited about using all of that. Also got, I'm not even sure what they call that. But I, uh, I got that from my mother-in-law. And Andrew said, oh, that's good. You need that. After you, after you kind of weld it, you can... Um, Hit your welds, I guess knocks off some of that dead metal before you take your um, wire brush and clean things up. I don't think it's called a hammer. Um, let's see. 
Favorite tip from Oak Knob. Old welding gloves used in campfire. Throw out your poker <laughs> gloves are better. I'll use that. Once they're old, and I'm not going to use it now, I'll give that a try. Uh, so I'm all set to go for welding and some other things that I got from my mother. Oh, some new DeWalt safety goggles. Now, what is so awesome about these is they go right over the glasses. I mean, that is a great seal. I have already used these when we were trying to score that metal sheet so we can bend it and uh, they didn't, they haven't fogged up and haven't had any issues. And apparently I look pretty badass at them. Um, and my son, he likes this. <clears throat> he likes this mask because he's kind of into cosplay and stuff. If I put on my mask. Oh, now I look like a villain. Huh? So I'm all set. Safety gear. And they have such a tight fit. Oh, yeah. I was able to take them off without uh, my glasses coming off. Northwest Sawyer, howdy. Hello, welcome. <clears throat> Who else do we have in here I didn't say hi to? I didn't say hi to Oak Knob. Uh, I didn't say hi to Kevin. I saw Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Thanks for joining us. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Scoratic tears. Is that how you said? Uh, is that how you say it? Welcome. I haven't seen your name here before. Welcome to my live stream. Vader voice in three, two, one. Darn it. I missed it. I missed it. I should have been reading. Uh, they are pretty. They are pretty. All right. What else do we need? Um, the most common pocket hole screws that you can use when doing furniture and making woodworking because you're dealing a lot with three quarter inch plywood or one by four material, which turns out to be three quarter inch materials. So the most common screws that you can use for pocket holes are an inch and a quarter. So my mom got me 500 inch and a quarter pocket hole screws. Looking forward to putting that to really good use. And let's see, oh, Andrew also got me a one, two, three block. <clears throat> I didn't know anything about these. I've seen them in videos and I just started seeing them in videos. I don't know how new they are. Christafix, how you doing, brother? Welcome. <clears throat> just showing off what I got for Christmas. So these are heavy metal, one inch, two inch, and three inch. So they're good for spacers. So if you have two of them, which I do, yay, uh, when you're welding things, you can place them, put, put your, your piece of metal that you're going to weld together three inches apart or two inches apart. They make great spacers and make great right angles here too. So you can use this in conjunction with these and just get you a better welds. Uh, and they have five, six, and seven blocks too. Or you're laughing because that piece of wood can be that, I guess. <laughs> From zero to homestead, welcome. How are you, sir? Thank you for joining me, sir, ma'am, uh, family, whoever's watching over there. Thank you. And then, got it. Look at that. Oh, yes. This is a DeWalt um, staple hammer. It is a carbon fiber composite up here and an ergonomic hand feels so comfortable. I did not make a sign like I was going. Andrew suggested I make a sign. I put it up on my thing and boom. Oh, it's too high. 
I'll put it down here. Boom. Love it. Love it. This is great for putting down your uh, roofing tar or if you're laying down a floor, putting down the uh, carpet pad or even the underlayment for hardwood floors. Thank you, Andrew. It's super nice. So that's two. That's two DeWalt things I got so far, right? My third DeWalt tool right here. Allen wrenches. I can't tell you how many cheap Allen wrenches that I have. And they come in this nice little holder, right? And then you open them up and eventually it gets loose and they all go everywhere. Let me show you. There's a little button right here. It's a lock button. So you can open it and it'll lock in one position. So you can work on it like that. It'll lock in another position and then it locks in that position. So when you're, you're using it, it doesn't, it doesn't move on you. These are a great addition to the shop. Thanks, Lovey, for getting them for me. I don't have a wife, but I bought my own Christmas gifts. Christafix. Awesome. What'd you buy yourself? A Makita saw table, table saw. That is a great gift. Congratulations. Uh, Chris to fix must really love himself. He bought a. <laughs> um, uh, Andrew buys his gifts all year round, apparently. Uh, I also got a few other cool things. Oh, here's, here's the fourth DeWalt thing. A box of 75 blades to go in my utility knife. I've had one of these before and I'm probably down to three blades. So this, thanks mom, is an also an awesome addition for the shop. Um, when you have 75 blades like that, it's amazing how often you'll actually change it when it becomes dull. When, when you're running low, I, I find myself not changing and I just kind of keep using it, using it really till it can't work anymore. Uh, heat shrink tubing. I've never had that. So that's really awesome. And, and those that don't know what this is, is when you uh, are working on electrical and you solder two wires together, you cut a piece of this tubing that covers the splice in the solder. And then you take your heat gun and you hit it and it shrinks and it holds it and it protects it and covers it. And it's just like having a plastic cable over your wire. <clears throat> Got a new brush too. I've already put that to use. I got a few uh, metal fibers in there. Uh, oh, so another small couple of small little things, but this I think has to be probably my best gift, my favorite gift of the Christmas season. My wife's shocked the hell out of me by getting me one of these because I was not expecting it after she got me this helmet and uh, she got me uh, some other things. Look at that. An Arbortech cutting disc. And those of you that don't know what this is, <clears throat> it goes on your angle grinder and it turns in to a wood shaping tool. So there was one guy I watched and he made, and he was an Instagram guy that I found, and he might have a YouTube channel. He made a carousel horse out of cutting plywood down. So he would cut four pieces of plywood in the shape of the leg and he would glue them together. And after it glued, he would take this and he would shape it and make it curves and give it muscles and everything like that. I've wanted one of these for a long time. Uh, so this is going to help me with another project or two that I have in mind. I have an old office chair. It's on wheels. And I want to turn it into a shop stool, a shop chair. And right now it's fabric and it's on a piece of MDF and, and 
over the years of kind of being outside, it's a little rusty and the MDF broke and I want to uh, sand it, paint it, take the seat off. I want to put a big old chunk of wood as the seat. And then I want to use this and carve out little butt cheek marks, you know, give it a little shape to it, make it a little comfortable and round over the edges and also do the same for the top. So I'm really excited about this. Um, oh, I might have lied. I, 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 I did not bring them out here. This is, it's tied. It's tied between this and a set of eight turning lathe, lathe turning tools. So I officially now can start learning how to turn wood, make bowls, make, um, round things uh, nutcrackers and we should put some out only for for christmas and i want to make a handmade nutcracker and i've seen it done before and it's typically better done on a lathe and i don't have the tools but my wife got me some turning lathes too so that that's tied the turning lathes and this arbor tech uh, blade uh, so now he, 2019 hopefully is going to be an awesome year of projects. Uh, I'll have more shop projects to do than home improvement stuff. Cause I don't know if that's hitting any buttons out there. Uh, I have one video showing you how to fix your washer. It's a front loading wash machine. And that's the kind of video that people will look up and that's got like 37,000 views or something <clears throat> because it's a specific, how do I do this? Can I fix this for, for cheap or free? Yes, you can. And, and people have been finding my videos, but I also have a uh, putting in the kitchen sink. Ah, there's tons of videos out there about that. Uh, I'm not getting very many hits on that. How to retrofit some old door windows into an old window spot, how to put in your door, you know, those kind of things I enjoy doing and I'm going to continue making those type of videos, but I just don't think they're going to get to play like shop builds, building furniture, building um, a, a nutcracker or that kind of thing. So 2019 is going to be a great year. I'm going to focus, and uh, now that I'm doing a live stream video every Wednesday, uh, I'll have hopefully a shop build video every week too. So I'll have two, two videos a week, which should be nice. And I'm currently at 4,230 subscribers, I think. And I'm shooting, I'm going to to shoot past that 5,000 for the year 2019 and go for 10,000 subscribers. So if you're out there, get out there, just kind of hopefully watch these numbers grow as I hit 10,000 for next year. Super exciting. How many videos are you going to do? And oh, I think I just uh, answered that without even reading the question, Andrew. So I'm shooting for like, a hundred videos for next year. If I can do two a week and maybe miss a live feed here and there, I think 200. Does your wife have a sister? No, just an ugly brother. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just my, my wife, uh, the bearded giant is her brother. That's all her, all the siblings that she has. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll back here see if I missed anything. Um, Richard, welcome, Richard. I didn't see you pop in. I'm not allowed to Christmas shop because I buy myself three gifts for every one gift I'm supposed to buy. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of hard. That's hard because when you go shopping for other people, you start seeing all the stuff that you want, and you you hope that you'll get but you know you won't because you didn't ask for it you didn't know you wanted it until you saw it it's really tough not buying gifts for yourself while you're christmas shopping <laughs> uh oak knob says fun he has an angle grinder and suddenly feels myself short one accessory yes G get it if you guys haven't seen video just just go on here 
um, uh, what's his name, who does all of that uh, Carolina shoe sponsor stuff, um, Jack, Jackman, Jackman Works, he does a lot of Arbor Tech stuff, does a lot of shaping with that, it's, it's pretty amazing, I, I really look forward to getting into it. There is nothing left to get you for your birthday in February, Mom. Oh, come on. There's still plenty left. If you're looking for items that are under a certain amount of money, then it's probably less than yes. But uh, I will definitely find some stuff that you can get me for my birthday. Uh, Amazon gift cards are always nice, too. Anyone out there? Um Let's see. Bearded Giant. My wife is from Newport. Oh, hey, cool. Where are you guys living now, Northwest Sawyer? Oh, and I, you know, I just met you. You or, or Andrew just, just um, showed me your site, and you're living in in um, Estacator or something, right? You're close by. You're close by. Yeah, Newport is awesome. Yes, my mother-in-law is referring to my mom that I will have another list by February for sure. Um, glue, sandpaper, yes, sandpaper, um, always can use sandpaper. Uh, I recently bought about a gallon of glue, so that'll last me for a little bit, but Hook Knob, he, he's right on it. <laughs> and pocket hole screws. <laughs> oh, let's see. Estacada, I was right. Cool. Thanks, Andrew. Getting started on Homestead. And welcome. I just showed off my Christmas loot. I got some really cool stuff. Uh, I can't really show it again, but you could always hit replay at the end of this video. Thank you for joining us. All right, Sclerotic Tears, looking forward to content. See ya. If you're still here, thank you for joining me. Have a good night. Um, I do not have a joke prepared for this live feed. I'm sorry. Uh, I could probably try to think of one real quick, but when I think on the spot of a joke, I can never come up with a good one quick enough, and it's always the same ones that I kind of tell. So I just need to apologize. Ah, great videos coming up next year. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I did a cutting board for my mother-in-law out of hemlock and cherry and was currently editing that video before my live stream. So I am going to get that out this week. That'll give a two video for this week, including my live stream. Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, a guy walks into a bar, says, ouch. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> uh, I already did the duck walks into a bar joke, right? Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> um, how about uh, these four old ladies we're driving in the car and they're like in their 90s and the one driving she's got her knuckles way up here and she can't she can't hardly see but well, they came down here to newport to spend the day and do a little christmas shopping and um on their way home <clears throat> there was a cop behind them and just kept following and wondering if if anything was going to change in it and it never did so boop, he turned on his lights and he pulled them over and he goes up to the door she rolls down the window and yes officer and, hello ma'am how are you tonight oh i'm doing just great and he looks over and the passenger and the two ladies that are in the back face is just pale knuckles are just clenched to the seat of the car and the officer is like um well the reason why i, I pulled you over is because of your speed She's like, oh, officer, I wasn't speeding. I was doing the posted speed limit. Well, ma'am, the speed limit is 45, and I clocked you at doing 20. 
Oh, no, no, no. I'm for sure it's 20. I saw a sign back there. It was white and it had a big two and a zero in it. The officer kept thinking, oh, no, ma'am, you're on Highway 20. The speed limit is 45. So you're doing way underneath the speed limit, which is almost too dangerous than uh, driving over the speed limit. She's like, oh, well, I'm very sorry. I'll keep an eye on it next time. And so he looks again at all the ladies who are still just kind of frozen. He says, ma'am, are your friends in the car doing okay? Oh, yeah, they're doing okay, officer. We just got off of Highway 101, that's all. Huh? <laughs> no? <laughs> uh, he, he, go ahead, be better than a guy walking into a bar, right? <clears throat> So tell me, what are uh, <laughs> what are some awesome gifts that you guys got this year? <clears throat> Andrew got some cool stuff. His nephew bought him a big ass wrench. <laughs> it's about this big. It's like a crescent wrench. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, to spend time with your family is what Andrew said for Christmas. That is pretty awesome. Uh, kind of wish uh, that you weren't on call, Andrew, and you could hang out another day or two. That would have been awesome. Oh, <laughs> Chris says his Makia table saw. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Uh, a hard case for his GoPro gear. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's great. Like uh, to carry your gear around that kind of hard case or, or a hard case for the actual GoPro to go in. I'm assuming to, to carry your stuff around. Um, I got it from a special person. <laughs> it's also Chris. Uh, I got my wife a rock tumbler for Christmas. She's always wanted one. And it was something that I took note of a while ago, and I think she kind of forgot that she had asked for it. So I'm actually pretty excited because we go down to the beach quite often and just hunt for rocks. And we have agates here, which are really pretty after they've been tumbled for a few days or a couple weeks. I have no idea to tumble rocks and... Um, tumble sea glass and stuff like that. So we're going to learn this together. <clears throat> My wife got me a global bowl. Dave the Rock Guy. Is that one I should check out? A uh, content creator there. Does he do a lot of rocks? I know Bub has, I think it was Bob, right? He did, uh, you did a few videos on rock tumbling. Uh, Northwest Sawyer says he wanted to get his son rock tumbler, but Legos are expensive. Yes, they are. They are. We got Alex a Harry Potter Hogwarts Lego kit. Thank God there was a sale because that's, Stupid thing was a hundred bucks just for a box full of 860 Legos. But they're pretty darn cool. He spent most of the day yesterday and some of today putting it all together. Chris, he has to go to now. Oh, it's 2 a.m. in Belgium. Oh, man. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. That's awesome of you to stay up and check me out. Good night. Have yourself a good new year and be safe and i'm going to be here the day after new year's on wednesday so if you wanted to stay up a little longer you can <laughs> and say hi but thanks for joining me <clears throat> yes steam kits are ridiculous oak knob says hit me later you've been telling me okay so you uh, um Bob, you've had a few, you had a video recently, right? Uh, of uh, some tumblers. Are we talking days or weeks? Oh, it's Dave. 
Many. Okay. Awesome. I will. Thank you. Uh, and I'll check out some of your videos too. Many vids on it. Cool. And I'll have my wife, wife, um, check it out too. She can, she needs to learn some things. Um, I know that there's different kind of grits that you put in there, right? But I have no idea how long it takes to tumble, but excited to, to learn and, and find out with her. Um, and I also got her, a, uh, some new nutcracker that she wanted. And, um, we had a really good time. So, uh, we are coming around the, after we've passed the half hour mark and I always now try to stick between half an hour and 45 minutes because the few times that I've tried to go for an hour, I lose my internet. So I think I will call it good. Unless you guys have any questions, I really appreciate you joining me. Um, Ooh, I will. I'll, P uh, I'll PM you on content creators. Um, and speaking of content creators, those of you that aren't content creators, have you seen the new uh, two-minute how-to video winter theme? If you haven't, uh, check out my last couple, my last video two videos ago is a two-minute how to make a rustic star. And in that description is a link to the playlist of multiple people from content creators showing you how to do two minute how to's for the winter theme of December. We have another one coming up in January. It's always the third, fourth Thursday. It was the 22nd. So it must be the third, third Thursday of the month. So thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to sign off. I really hope you had a safe and uh, pleasant Christmas. I did. I really enjoyed myself and I wanted to wish you guys a really healthy and safe new year. Bring in the new year in a, a safe manner is too many. I, I worked I worked as a bouncer for many years and I've seen way too many intoxicated people and it's okay if you want to kind of drink a little and have some fun, but keep it safe, be at home, call yourself a cab, have a designated driver, do what you need to do to stay alive. Cause I want to see you guys again next year, 2019. It'd be awesome. Thank you all for joining me tonight. Have a pleasant night. Happy New Year. See you next Wednesday at 4.30. Good night.